Hey everybody, Indoor Survivors here up super early in the morning. I uh, want to talk about some free items for preppers on a budget. Um, two things to get out of the way before we really get into this. Uh, without fail, every time somebody says the word free, somebody wants to come by and drop their jewel of wisdom. Um, I use that word wisdom loosely. Um, that nothing is free, somebody paid for it, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we know that. Uh, so now that that's out of the way, uh, hopefully avoid those ridiculous comments. Um, this is basically for people <laughs> who are on a budget. And again, I use that word loosely because if you're on a budget, you um, probably shouldn't be able to afford to do this to get the free items. Uh, but basically, um, forks, spoons, we've all seen them. This happens to be a spork. When you go out to eat at a fast food restaurant, um, usually can pick up free things like they'll throw a fork in the bag or spoons or knives or napkins things like that uh, that come packaged this is a great way to grab extra items for your preps uh, ask for a couple extra um, usually they they will just give them to you without problem some places do charge for some of the stuff I'm going to show you and in those cases I usually don't eat at those type of places a lot of places have stopped doing it because uh, it wasn't really popular among their customers to charge for uh, different things but yeah, these are, I've never seen anybody charge for uh, forks or spoons or knives or, you know, the package, packages that they come in. So this is a great idea um, if you're on a budget. And again, if you're on a budget, I don't see how you can afford to eat out that much every day if you're on a um, super restrictive budget. If you have $10, $20, $30 to eat out, then you also have $10, $20, $30 to prep. Um, it's cheaper to cook at home. I know sometimes you just don't feel like it, but if again, if you don't have any money to prep and you're eating out, that might be part of the problem why you don't have money. Uh, if you if you add up everything it costs to eat out, how much it costs on a monthly basis to eat out, you'll probably find that you're spending several hundred dollars a month uh, just eating out when it'd be much cheaper to uh, cook. Uh, here's another item. Me and my wife, we eat a lot of Chinese food around here. Uh, so we have chopsticks. We know how to use chopsticks. I think they're a good option. Uh, these are partially open but unused. Um, basically, two pieces of wood. <laughs> that's, that's basically what it is, two pieces of wood. I'm sure there's a lot of thought and whatever that goes into the design. They've been around thousands of years. They, they are very useful for eating. It's a learned skill. Um, you could probably learn it in one or two sittings. But yeah, chopsticks are a good option to have. And again, if you eat Chinese food, they're usually free. Just ask for some. And if not, you can get these at the store. Very, very cheap. Uh, I haven't seen anybody mention chopsticks. So, throwing these in the video. Uh, something else that we all have enjoyed. Pizza. So, what I did was I actually, when we order pizza, we keep a lot of the condiments. Um round table they're shut down now unfortunately they have one of the best pizzas in Vegas in my opinion some people don't like them uh, Pizza Hut uh, we eat a lot of Domino's but I'm not sure why I don't have any Domino's um, condiments now one thing I can say is thinking about it now Domino's really doesn't just toss in uh, crushed pepper or Parmesan cheese I have no idea why but they don't and so <laughs> yeah I don't have any now, the reason I have crushed pepper here and not Parmesan cheese is that I noticed that a couple of the Parmesan cheeses had expiration dates on them uh, because they're stored in these little paper packets. They're not airtight. Um, they don't preserve well, and cheese does go bad after a certain amount of time. So I tossed out all the Parmesan cheese packets, and I'm going to come back to stuff going bad in a minute. Uh, but yeah, crushed pepper keeps. So we keep all the crushed pepper. We have a, a pretty decent amount of it. Uh, next on the list, uh, things like mustard. Uh, relish and ketchup mustard relish and ketchup Move these over here I'm trying to watch this video at the same time uh, some of these can be grabbed at the convenience store like if you go in a 7-eleven or something grab a hot dog real quick grab some extra packets of ketchup relish mustard whatever um, for those places that have it some places have the open container where you just you know put the condiments right on your dog there uh, but some places that have the packets grab a couple toss these in your preps Next, hot sauce. Tons of hot sauce. As you see, uh, these are from, these first couple are from Taco Bell. And here's one from KFC. We have Del Taco here. There we go. And Del Taco. 
So yeah, whenever we go out to eat, we grab hot sauce. Hot sauce keeps very well. And I'm also gonna point out a few things about some of this packaging as well that you, you might wanna look out for. But yeah, that was a, that's another uh, free prep you can get if you're eating out. This keeps very well. This is Wendy's Hot Chili Seasoning. I don't use it often because I get a lot of heartburn now that I'm older. <laughs> when I eat a ton of hot stuff, I used to just eat hot stuff all the time, no problem. Uh, but yeah, Wendy's Hot Chili Seasoning, if, if that's what you like, grab some of those extra when you order chili at Wendy's. Uh, they give these out for free as well. Uh, miss this hot sauce, Popeye's Louisiana Hot Sauce. I'll come back to that in a second too. All right, and then two more items that, one item I don't see a lot of people adding to their uh, prepper videos, soy sauce. This again is from the Chinese food that we get. My wife loves soy sauce. I'm not a big fan of it. Um, but yeah, soy sauce seems to keep, to me it tastes like liquefied salt. I just, I'm not a huge fan of salt. Salt is good to have, you know, for seasoning, but I just, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I use salt sparingly. Uh, we're not like super health conscious over here <laughs> at all, but yeah, salt's just not something I'm big on. And finally, um, a prep item that everybody talks about. It's kind of expensive in the stores. If you saw my last video, I, got, I found some for um, under two bucks. I think I think it was under two dollars, like a dollar something, if I recall. But honey, Popeyes. This is from Popeyes. You can get it from KFC. Um, those are the only two places off the top of my head I can think of where you can get honey. But if you eat uh, chicken sandwiches or any kind of chicken, Popeyes, KFC, honey. Honey keeps almost forever. Um, I've heard of people, you know, mentioning that honey keeps for thousands of years, found in Egyptian tombs, things like that. Uh, so yeah, this is a, a good way to get free honey with your meal. Ask for extra honey uh, for your biscuits or whatever. Now, what I want to run in, what I want to talk about right now, are some of the packaging issues that I saw. Like certain things I don't keep, like RB sauce. I have no idea what's in Harvey so RB sauce. Um, they have the ingredients right here. I don't know how long this stuff will keep. And so I'm kind of leery of it. Anything I'm leery of, I'll just, you know, play to the safe side of it. I'd rather not keep it than to use it and it'd be bad or something like that. Um, it's Arby's, it says their signature barbecue sauce. Eh, I don't know. <laughs> Horsey sauce, I'm also skeptical about that too because that seems sort of like a, um, sorry, I hit the camera. Um, seems sort of like a um, mayonnaise based thing. So I'm kind of leery about that too. I'm guessing barbecue sauce might be okay to keep. So as you can see, this is from 2006. Not sure if you can see the date right there. But yeah, RB sauce, definitely, um, I don't keep it. You can if you want. Now, some other issues to look out for, like such as Carl's Jr. Um, I've noticed that different companies have better packaging than other companies. And uh, different companies will hold up better. For instance, this Del Taco taco sauce is squishy. You can see the air move and yeah you can't really see the back but it feels right it feels like it's supposed to feel this on the other hand as you can see it's mostly just flat it seems most of the liquid has dehydrated or, or evaporated or whatever you want to call it out of this package so this package is sealed to me it says that it's not a hundred percent um as good as it should be because when you compare some of the um, sauces, like I have Del Taco sauce in there four or five years old. And this right here, I'm not sure how old this is. Uh, let's see if I see a date on here. Nope, no date. Um, but yeah, this is basically just the spices that were in the hot sauce. All the liquid is gone. Uh, so I'm, I'm wary of things like that. I throw that stuff out because um, I'm really not sure if it's, if it's well preserved. Uh, you'll find other packaging issues. Again, some companies have better packaging than others. Heinz has good packaging. As you see, this has been there for a long time. I haven't bought any uh, products from a convenience store in a long time. Uh, as far as like uh, hot dogs or anything like that, I haven't grabbed any of the condiments. So this has been in there for a while. Still feels squishy, just like the Del Taco bag. Um, you can feel the air in there. Nothing like the other bag. So I'm going to toss this one out too, along with the RV sauce. Another thing to look for, um, what I discovered is KFC's packaging is not that great. Some of their stuff will keep, um, but the honey will keep, but their hot sauce, as you see, this package is starting to deteriorate. 
so this to me this packaging is not great and so i'm kind of cautious of this packaging as well some of the air is starting to go the liquid is starting to go you can feel that it's it's not as squishy as it used to be it's yeah mostly just spices now and finally popeyes uh I think this, I don't know if this is a new packaging or over packaging. I haven't eaten Popeyes in, in a while. Um, but it looks like some of the contents are gone from this package as well. I'm not sure if it was only that little bit when I first bought it because I wasn't paying attention. Uh, before I was in the proper state of mind, you know, we grab condiments, use a few, toss out the rest. But again, these are just options for people who are on a budget. And again, I use that word lightly. If you can afford to eat out, you can afford to prep. Um, these are options though for people who do eat out. They may not necessarily be on a budget and want to, you know, grab some free stuff, honey, uh, relish, ketchup, hot sauce, whatever. So keep that in mind. As always, www.indoorsurvivalist.com. You, you can subscribe on the website or if you're watching this on YouTube, click the subscribe link above. And until next time.